Huawei Harmony OS 2.0 is official. What's up guys? So after the initial announcement of the Harmony OS 1.0, Huawei has moved things to the next level by finally announcing the Harmony OS 2.0 for many devices, including smartphones today at HTC 2020 in China. Huawei says that Harmony OS 2.0, it's not just a software, it's a complete ecosystem, meaning it's not only for phones, tablets, and watches, but it's also for kitchen appliances, literally everything that can run software from your smart fridge to your smart TV, Harmony OS can be applied to everything. It's made by using an adaptive framework, which means that developers will only need to make their applications once, and that one application can be used for phones, watches, tablets, it's all super optimized. And I think it's gonna be very convenient to build application for this software. Huawei says that they currently have 1.8 million developers from around the world building stuff for HMS services, which includes Huawei's own app gallery store and some other services. It took them a while to have that many people on board and now they can actually take full step in releasing the Harmony OS 2.0 for their smartphones. Yes, all existing Huawei phones that are running EMUI 11, which was by the way announced today as well, they all can be updated to the Harmony OS 2.0 and Huawei has said that their first smartphone with Harmony OS 2.0 will come officially in 2021. They further explained that Harmony OS 2.0 has the highest security certification, which is CCEAL5+. They further confirmed that the first beta of the Harmony OS 2.0 will be made available for watches and smart TVs, whereas for smartphones, it's coming in December 2020. So if you are a developer, it is an open source software. Anyone can work on this project. And of course, this software is not just for Huawei phones, pretty much any smartphone manufacturer can use Harmony OS. So just like Android, they have made this completely open source, but then again, it's not going to be coming with Google services. Now, they didn't show off how the Harmony OS 2.0 will look in terms of, you know, on a smartphone, but rumor says that the look and feel will be very similar to the EMUI 11 that Huawei released today. But the difference, of course, is that EMUI 11 right now is based on Android and that will be based on Harmony OS 2.0. It's got a 10 millisecond fast response, which means that applications opening times will be really, really quick. It's using an R compiler, which rumor has it that it actually will perform better than Android. They also briefly mentioned on stage that their spotlight search on Harmony OS 2.0 is actually faster than the spotlight search you see on iOS. Again, only time will tell. I will say that the competition is nice to have. If you look at past couple of years, only Android and iOS are dominating the game. And the thought of having a third software system system is just completely insane. So if any company that has a slight chance of pulling this off is Huawei, their Harmony OS 2.0 is looking kind of promising. So it's nice that it's finally coming out, but here's the thing. Software on Huawei phones is the least concern right now. The big problem is hardware. Huawei can't even make a flagship phone anymore. United States completely destroyed Huawei's ability to make a proper high-end flagship phone. First, they took away Google services, and despite that, Huawei still continued to ship phones with their open Android version, but then they took away their ability to make flagship processors. And now, believe it or not, they are even taking away their ability to have flagship displays. After September 15th, any company who uses US-based technology won't be allowed to work with Huawei which means Samsung and LG won't be allowed to do business with Huawei. They won't be allowed to sell their OLED displays, not even RAM and memory and some other hardware things. Without a flagship processor or having the latest OLED display, they cannot survive in the flagship game. Which means not only Huawei Mate 40 is the last phone to have a Korean flagship processor, but it could also very well be the last flagship from Huawei ever. Recently, Qualcomm tried to get a license to ship its Snapdragon chips to Huawei, but so far, US has no reply for that Samsung display has appealed to US as well, but they have also not received any reply. US has single-handedly destroyed Huawei, which is why we're hearing in the news that Huawei might actually exit the smartphone industry, the smartphone flagship game, or they might have the same fate as Nokia. One thing China can do is force Chinese manufacturers like Oppo, Vivo, Xiaomi, and even OnePlus to use Harmony OS 2.0 if it's completely built up to that level when it comes out. But then again, if China does 
something like that. It's going to be a massive blow to USA for sure. But then again, US can still destroy any Chinese smartphone brand like they did with Huawei. If they can take control of processors, display, memory, and all these other things, it's still a big scary issue for all the Chinese brands. Again, I don't think China will do something like that because they're making a lot of money. If you look at the global smartphone sales, Xiaomi is actually in the list. In my opinion, China won't go that far. But Huawei, on the other hand, seems like it's completely been sacrificed in this whole political war between US and China. As always, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Huawei has officially confirmed that the first Harmony OS smartphone is coming in 2021. If US doesn't allow Qualcomm to sell chips to Huawei, then it's most likely going to be a mid-range phone, which might still be sold in China. Again, we'll see what's going to happen in the future. As always, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.